that uh, NOSAC has taken upon themselves uh, to share the information in the Vigilante and Related Offence Act, Act 999-2019, and have even gone a step beyond to look at the roadmap and the code of conduct that the Peace Council has brought together with some key stakeholders. I think we are very impressed uh, because the uh, NOSAC, with the support of Star Ghana, I think is the first to have taken uh, these materials, these important documents, i.e. the law at Nanamai, the roadmap and the code of conduct, you know, to share the content therein uh, with, with the larger society. The Peace Council is very impressed. And we want to commend uh, NOSAC and uh, the, the Star Ghana for uh, the uh, unrelenting support uh, to democracy and uh, good governance in this country. It's good that an act has come into place to check or stop the activities of vigilante groups. I want to commend NOSAC and their funding partners, Star Ghana. Um, they have said that this will not be the last of such forums, they will go to other locations, other regions in the country to engage various stakeholders, especially political party actors, to educate them on the Vigilantism and Related Offenses Act. Uh, not everybody, even though it, it's a very popular act that everybody knows about, but what it really entails is, is something that I don't think many political actors know. Many youth groups within political parties know. They don't know. And so these engagements are good for them to know, especially the aspect where one of the facilitators said that the two major political parties, leaders of the two major political parties, NDC and MPP, have signed a document telling the security of Ghana that they are no more interested in the vigilante groups and so they ought to arrest and punish them anytime they see them engage in vigilante activities. So if the youth groups of all political parties now realize that their own leaders have signed onto a document that says that if they engage in vigilantism, they should be arrested and prosecuted. I think they, 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 they will rethink and, 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 and then look at their activities to ensure they do not engage in political vigilantism. See, we've signed on, even though we've not signed into it by principle, but we are yet to sign up on, on into the law so that it will send a signal to every group, whether registered or not registered, that we are not going to tolerate political vigilantism. If you are a group and you want to destabilize this country, and as an NDC member, we'll disown you and we'll let the police take you on. That one is for sure. Because we wouldn't want our children to not get a better place to live when they, when they are born. So this is just a signal to let them know that we are ready to see the law and also implement it. So far, uh, the dialogue has been very good, it's been interactive, very open, and everybody is sharing his ideas, his mind. I believe that this is a type of dialogue that we've been looking to as political parties to build our capacity so that we can also go back and train our people. So I will commend Star Ghana for this wonderful initiative and I hope that they will do more to help northern Ghana and Ghana as a whole.